Uh, I think just being intentional about getting back is uh, something we've worked on all year and something Coach preaches. So being intentional about sending uh, three guys back and two to the glass was really big for us. Devin, have you gotten any texts from your aunt telling you you were one rebound away from a double double? Was I again? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, no, I, I, I haven't even looked at my phone yet, so uh, no, I'm sure she might. Beautiful. Uh, I mean, you're playing the four almost as much as you're playing on the perimeter these days. Uh, what's the what's been the key to your rebounding success? Um, just hunting hunting down the the ball when it comes off the glass, you know. Uh, because the the bigs got to do a lot when it comes to you know boxing out, and they sometimes not, aren't able to get the balls, long rebounds, and that's when it comes to guards getting back and getting those rebounds. Andrew, then Brett. Well, a couple times now, or more frequently these last couple games, you've been on the floor with Ty. What's that been like, and how do you, how can you play off of him as opposed to maybe others that are out there? Yeah, um, obviously um, the way he's playing, he's gonna get more playing time, so. Um, I feel like the more we go on, the more we're going to be able to play together. Just building that chemistry is going to be huge. Uh, it also gives me the opportunity to get off the ball and, and just kind of come off screens and look to shoot the ball, um, help my shot. But um, he's been playing extremely well as of late. Hopefully, he can keep it going. He's a big, he's a, he's a big X factor for us right now. Devin, it seemed like you guys were trying to to, to post you up more tonight. Mm -hmm. is, is that been something that you've been worked on, or is that did that just kind of happen? Yeah, I think uh, it just kind of happened um, because they were kind of matching up, and um, I was able to be able to, I was able to get in front of the uh, bottom guy, and I just happened to get a few post ups and get get a few catches out there. London, they had scored. I think it was eight straight points to cut your lead to eleven there. Maybe midway through the second half, you took the ball into the paint on Clark and hit what l appeared to be a very difficult mm. step back there in the paint. What were you looking at on that play, and did you just feel you needed to make one at that? Um, point? I felt like I just needed to be aggressive in that in that point. Um, we weren't getting we were getting some good looks. Um, I think we were settling for some threes, and um, so I just wanted to get into the paint and. Um, Ever since, well, since the last game, uh, Coach Ben has always been talking about working on the mid-range. So these past couple of days, I've been working on my mid-range jump shot a little bit more, um, which I had. I just uh, was kind of trying to get to the free throw line of the Villanova game, which was a lot different than today. So just being able to, to create something else for our team um, and do something different. And I just wanted to be in attack mode, and I just got some open looks. London, how much does it feel like the questions that – that people were asking about offense for this team at the beginning of the year that you guys have answered with the way, you know, Devin's come along and Isaiah's the last the last couple games and Ty and Kyle and yeah. Well, I'm from the jump since ever since we started practicing and during the summer, I knew we had weapons uh, from the top to the bottom. So um, it just comes with with game experience. Um, shoot, are almost done with the season. It's close to it. Um, so they got, they all have a lot of game experience, and it's starting to to build their confidence. Um, and then we're just building chemistry around it. Um, and our defense is is pretty good as of late. Um, so I think it's just all starting to click at the right moment. Devin, were you a forward at any point earlier in your career, and would you've learned some skill, front court skills from that? You mean in high school or here? No. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I guess when I was younger, I played. Um, I was a little bit bigger. And in high school, I played a little bit. A um, little bit of some. I guess I was guarding the five man at times because I was, you know, second tallest guy on my team. So, so yeah, I guess I learned some, a few skills. Uh, Devin, uh, you and Isaiah made 13 field goals. Only one of them was a three. Coach Bender was talking about sh discernment. Is that an example of excellent shot discernment, not forcing things, taking taking what you have? Yeah, I think so. Isaiah was actually really he shot the ball real well today, and um, so we were just trying to find him, and he he finds those little shots on the baseline and those creases um, in in the high post. And I think when we have those shots, shots we should take them every single time, and we were able to get in the middle and knock those down. You guys are obviously playing more four guards, but I don't think you've done four guards much against zone until tonight. Teams just haven't done it much. How does that change things in the four guard lineup when a team shows you zone? Well, their, theirs was more was in a traditional zone. Theirs was more like a matchup zone. So, um, and especially with them playing four guards, it was more of just a defensive matchup for us uh, because our offense in the zone we could play with two bigs, four guards. But it was just more of a defensive matchup. 
uh, tonight, um, just being able to have a, a four man that can guard a guard, basically. Um, so, I mean, it, it really had nothing to do with their zone and that, and that, and that sort of, I mean, that aspect. London, you guys head to Syracuse now, and that game against them in the NCAA tournament last year is something you've talked to. I know you're rolling your eyes. You've talked a lot about it to us, though. I, I, I didn't think it would be you that brought it up. So. At the be All right, that's fine. I'm joking. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm <laughs> but you, you did talk a lot about it, especially at the beginning of the season. Are you, is that something, an opportunity you look forward to, or are there still emotional ties? Um, I mean, I haven't thought about it, so you brought it up right now, um, and now my heart's pounding. Um, but... <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, obviously it, it, it hits home. I mean, it's something that we were so close to getting to the Final Four and then just being now it's uh, we go back to that opponent um, in their place. Um, obviously, I'm excited. Um, I'm trying to get this bad taste out of my mouth still. Maybe this will help, um, but I don't think it will. Um, so I, it's just another game, really. Um, as hard as it is to say, it's just another game. Devin, you played with Chris Clark at Cape Henry. What's the back and forth with you guys before the game, during the game, after? And does it does your relationship add a little spice to this rivalry for you? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, I kind of talked to him uh, last night. I talked to him uh, a little bit before the game and actually during the game. But um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just yeah, that, that doesn't need to be said. But, uh, <laughs> we had a few comments back and forth, but um. Yeah, I mean, he's a heck of a competitor. And um, when we're home, either we're, either we're training together or playing, you know, pick up together or whatever it is, man, he, he's a heck of a competitor, and I love playing against him.